All right, so it's been, though, a tough season for summer travel and tourism here in the United States, but Brazil, that's been a pretty bright spot. And you can thank double-digit gains for the country's currency. Brennan Lothry with more on that. Brennan. Yeah, quite a big hit on the, uh, the, the uh, tourism front. Really, international visits to the U.S., they are down 10% over the first four months of 2009 compared to the same time last period. But Brazil... That's been the rare exception. It's one of only two countries to post double-digit growth rates this year, with the number of tourists climbing 11% for the first four months of the year. Brazil's arrivals jumped 24% in the month of April alone. The major part of that story, the standout performance of Brazil's currency. It's translating into big bargains for Brazil's, especially right here in the Big Apple. I bought many colorful pants <laughs> and many, like, different T-shirts, and we're looking for shoes, too. Um... High heels and normal shoes, everything. Yeah, the Real has strengthened 21% against the dollar since January, making it one of the best-performing major currencies so far this year. And many analysts say it can move even higher from here. Nick Benenbrock of Wells Fargo is, is one of his favorite currencies right now, thanks to high interest rates and its economy, which has held up relatively well during this crisis. The central bank cut interest rates by a half a percent at this week's meeting. Still, though, rates are as high as 8.75 percent compared with the U.S., which is as low as zero. Europe is 1 percent, and Australia, which is traditionally a high-yielding currency play, clocks in at 3 percent. Ben and Brock says the real can reach as high as 170 versus the dollar in the next few months. That's a 10 percent move higher from right here. Brazil's U.S. tourism numbers, well, they're expected to climb along with the exchange rate. The Commerce Department predicts Brazil will become the seventh top international tourist market, Carol, by 2013, overtaking Italy. And no doubt having a great year this year. Absolutely. All right, Brendan, thanks so much. Now, Alice, though, not just bullish on Brazil's currency. Some are betting on gains for the country's stock markets as well. Brazil's benchmark index already up more than 44 percent this year. Our next guest says it's headed even higher. Jeffrey Dennis is Latin American uh, equity strategist over at Citigroup. He joins us from his office in downtown Manhattan. Jeff, good to have you back on Bloomberg. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Carol. So you heard Brennan really kind of lay out what's going on in Brazil. I mean, the big reason for the move up in Brazilian stocks, what's the reasoning that you see? It's, uh, it is partly because of what your correspondent said there. The economy has actually done not quite as badly as people feared it would. Um, we had a couple of quarter recession in, in Brazil, which ended in the first quarter. We think we've had growth again in the second quarter, uh, which is obviously pretty positive. But also, um, investors are, are making the bet here that um, the global economy is starting to stabilize, that um, investors want to get back into high beta emerging markets, and Brazil is a good example of one of those. Commodities have been strong of course, and Brazil is um, relatively close to, close in to China, which mm -hmm. of course has been the standout performer of all in the global economy. So I think all of those factors are playing a role. What about the rate environment? You know, Brennan pointed out it's still high at 8.75%. 8, 8, uh, they had a decision, you know, this week. What about the rate environment? What kind of backdrop does that set up in terms of the uh, equity rally? It certainly is helpful on the currency side, again, as your correspondent said, because Brazil is a carry currency. When investors want to take on more risk, Brazil is a classic play. So even though rates have come down, um, they're still relatively high compared to others around the world. By the way, Brazilian rates have gone into single digits for the first time since the 1960s. Mm -hmm. And that shows how unprecedented this is, that it's supported equities because it will support the economy. Our view is long term, not necessarily short term, but long term. These, uh, these very low interest rates and the cost of capital in Brazil generally will support more money coming from the pension funds for out of fixed income and into equity. So this is certainly all part of the equity story in Brazil for the long term. Hey, what about the stimulus component? Um, obviously, clearly, I'm, I'm helping equities because of that helps investment, helps the economy overall. Um, I don't really think it's been the, the classic driver here of why the economy is doing better. I, I just think uh, generally the banking system is in great shape in Brazil. Right. Currency did pull back a little bit um, compared to where it was a year ago, and that has helped exports. But the links with China have been very important. So certainly lower rates do help the economy, but that's only part of the story here. Jeff, do they need more stimulus in your view? Um, no, we, we really don't think they do. We don't expect rates to go any lower. Uh, it's not impossible they'll go lower, but we think they're going to stay on hold at this level in single digits for a very long period of time, probably beyond the next election, which is October of 2010, right, the next presidential election. Jeff, what about the stimulus program? Do they need any more stimulus programs? Well, you know, they, they've done quite a lot on the fiscal side, to be fair. They don't have a lot of flexibility on the fiscal side, so they've done something on the fiscal side, uh, a lot of action there. They've obviously cut rates aggressively. I don't really think they need much in the more of additional stimulus program. I think the economy's um, on a, reco a recovery track already. 
Hey, you know, foreign investors, though, Jeff, they last year took out about 24 billion reals. It's about, I think, 12 million U.S. from stocks. This year, they've added in about 10 billion reals, but there were outflows in June, also in July to date. What about foreigners? Do you see them putting back all that money they took out last year? I, I think it'll all come back gradually. I think it depends on what people's view is of the global economic cycle and the general attractiveness of equities. We've been bullish about Brazil all year. We've been bullish about Latin America all year. We're making a bet here that the global economy is bottoming out. We're at the start of a new economic upswing, even if it may be slow and it may be tricky at the beginning because, of course, of all the deleveraging that's going on in, in the developed economies. But investors are making that bet. I think they want to be in emerging markets because of that. And so I think that money will gradually come back. Now, right. you're, going to, you're going to get pullbacks. We've had an enormous run here, had a big run from March to June. Then we had a pullback. Now we've had a very big run in the last week and a half. This will not be a straight line, but we're definitely buyers of this market for the long term. Right. And I think foreigners will bring money back in as a result. All right. Let's get to some picks. Got a favorite pick here? Um, we've got, we, we're actually uh, very high beta here. We're overweight financials. We're overweight metals and mining. We're overweight consumer discretionary. We like it to Unibanco, which is the biggest bank in Brazil because of the quality of its balance sheet mm -hmm. and, a, and a return to loan growth. We think Vale, the, uh, the mining company, will be a long-term winner also um, in Brazil um, in the sense that um, you know it's very closely tied in with China. We also like the steel sector in Brazil where pricing is beginning to improve as well. Hey, but it is an emerging market. Market. So I guess yes. the caveat is, you know, remember that there can be big swings <laughs> up but also big swings down, right, Jeff? That's, that's right, and, and you have to accept that. But we had a massive bear market last year, mm -hmm. and we've started to recover from that. Uh, what you've seen unquestionably is emerging markets holding up much better in this truly historic global downturn that we've seen, particularly in developed economies, holding up much better than they've done in the past. And the reason for that is the sound fundamentals of the emerging markets. For sure, there's always risks, and, the, the, and if investors decide that they, they're concerned about the the risk trade again and put on more risk aversion trades, emerging markets will get hit. Our view is the global economy is turning. Right. Emerging markets are in better shape than they've been in the past, and Brazil is, is, a big, um, is a big contributor to that. All right, got to run. Hey, Jeff, thank you so much. Jeffrey Dennis over at City.